Cyber Countdown's number two story tonight's worst persons in the world. The Bronze tonight to gossip editor Richard Johnson of Rupert Murdoch's vanity newspaper, The New York Post. After his section broke the dramatic scandal that the Topps Company has made a series of baseball trading cards picturing me, which I actually give out to friends and other collectors and autograph some for charity. He's now contacted MSNBC asking about what he implied was a conflict of interest in my consulting for Topps. After we here all stopped laughing, and after it was pointed out to Dick Johnson that I've been involved in baseball card production since 1975, and that my consulting to Topps is unpaid, informal, as, and has been previously revealed here, he seemed to give up on that. He moved on to hinting he'd be writing an expose on how funny it was that I collected antique baseball cards. The New York Post loses a reported 50 to 60 million dollars a year. My collection of baseball cards is thus worth more than is the New York Post. Then again, so is the collection of the average kid in your neighborhood. Thanks a lot, Dick. The runner-up, the incomparable Steve Ducey, the walking spoonerism from Fix News, reporting that a former CNN employee named Mauricio Funes has been elected the president of El Salvador. Here's a story you won't see on CNN. He is from a party down in El Salvador that is essentially the Communist Party. I wonder if he's just on a leave of absence from CNN, which given his political inklings, CNN could stand for the Communist News Network. A Fox analyst named Peter Johnson then said Funes's party, quote, allegedly has ties to strongman Cesar Chavez. Ducey came back with, you don't mean strongman Wolf Blitzer, you mean strongman Cesar. There's a reason you won't see this story on CNN. The president-elect's party allegedly has ties to strongman Cesar Chavez. Cesar Chavez, the late lamented American union organizer? You mean Hugo Chavez of Venezuela or, I don't know, maybe Eric Chavez of the Oakland Athletics? But our winner, freshman Congressman Bill Posey, Republican of Florida, wants a bill passed demanding, well, let me just quote him. Opponents of President Obama are raising the birth certificate issue as a means of questioning his eligibility to serve as president. This bill, by simply requiring such documentation for future candidates for president, will remove this issue as a reason for questioning the legitimacy of a candidate elected as president. Well, you could do that, or you could grow a pair, Congressman Posey, and tell the racists and the assorted other nutbags in your Republican Party that it's time for them all to put away the shrooms and accept that the president's birth certificate was all the proof required and that they should stop embarrassing themselves. Oh, wait, you know, it says here you yourself refuse to say whether or not you believe the president is a natural born citizen. So, Congressman, what you should do is stop embarrassing yourself and take the Reynolds wrap off your head. Congressman Bill X Files Posey, today's worst person in the world. <laughs>